Hey everyone, after hours of benchmarking I've finally came up with tweaks that actually work. These tweaks got me 250 more average FPS, here are the specs I did these testings on. Anyways let's get into it. You're gonna wanna download the tweaks download in the description and extract it. We're gonna be starting off with a restore point in case anything goes wrong, but it shouldn't. Open it up and click configure make sure to turn on system protection and have at least 40 gigabytes available, now name it anything you want and create. Now click on Windows settings and follow what I do I got around a 5% FPS increase from the advanced Windows settings. Some people don't like disabling memory integrity as it puts your computer at risk but it's been proven to give better performance. You're gonna wanna make sure both of these are turned off. Most people will tell you to turn on game mode but personally I got much better performance with it off. So try both on and off to see which works for you, make sure to turn on hags, now you're gonna wanna add your game of choice on which you wanna get the best performance out of, make sure it's win 64 shipping. Now turn on optimization for windowed games and set to high performance. I've already done this but uninstall all useless windows apps and stuff you just don't use, make sure you don't uninstall crucial windows stuff like the Microsoft Visual Apps, PowerShell, Terminal etc. Now you're gonna wanna make sure your monitors are at the highest refresh rate possible. Turning off Enhance Pointer Precision gives you consistent, predictable mouse movement without unwanted acceleration, improving accuracy and control. Now turn off notifications and go on Do Not Disturb. You're now gonna wanna turn off everything from recommendations to diagnostics and feedback. This doesn't help performance but it's nice to have the crispest audio possible, choose the audio device you're using go to properties select the highest quality and press apply. Now disable all unnecessary startup apps and stuff you don't use. Now right-click the game of your choice, enable disable full screen optimizations and press apply this gave me a significant FPS boost. Now you're gonna wanna make sure you're up to date with the Windows updates. Turn off transparency effects and animation effects. You're gonna want to turn off allowed downloads from other devices this prevents unnecessary network usage and potential security risks. Now turn off these four settings. Now we're moving on to power plan copy the code and paste it into CMD admin. I've tried multiple different power plans but personally this one gives me the best performance, make sure to just select it and close. Now we're moving on to a deep loaded discord which gives better privacy and security. People say it gives you a risk of ban but I've been using it for months now and haven't even got a warning. This is Win Tweaker. it also gave me a lot better performance.
Start off by running the system file checker and head over to customization. Check disable transparency effects, also disable start animations and press apply. Now head over to performance, I would check everything unless you use a printer then uncheck it and if you use a hard drive uncheck superfetch service now press apply. If you want to know what anything does hover over it and it should say at the bottom you're now going to what to set everything to 1000 or drag them all to the start and press apply. Now the scan should be complete so just shut out of CMD and start the repair windows system image now. Head over to security and privacy check disable OneDrive and turn off user tracking. Now you're gonna wanna disable most things unless you use it and press apply. Now head over to additional and check everything I have checked and press apply. That's all for win tweakers so just close out of everything. Now we're on to GPU so download OCCT and MSI Afterburner for overclocking the GPU make sure to uncheck Norton when downloading MSI Afterburner. Open them both up and copy my MSI settings and press apply. Now to overclock usually plus 1200 for memory and plus 200 core is the sweet spot for me but try plus 700 memory and plus 100 core first as my settings might be too overpowering for your GPU. Now you're going to want to run a stress test for 5 minutes if you get any errors or your GPU goes over 80 Celsius then you're going to want to decrease your memory by 200 and core by 50 but if it's fine increase by them. Now once you've found your sweet spot head back to GPU and download the NVIDIA app. Now open it up and disable everything. Head over to drivers and make sure you're on the latest drivers if you're not download them. Now it's time for NVIDIA control panel make sure it's set to use advanced 3D image settings then head over to manage 3D settings now just copy my settings for maximum performance. Once you're done copying my settings head over to the last folder and do what I do. On temp you're going to want to select all but I've already done it so I don't have to. This video obviously took me very long to make so I appreciate you all for watching till the end I am planning on doing a full PC optimization guide such as reg tweaks, full windows debloat, BIOS etc. So let me know if you want to see that or anything else you want me to document slash play anyway see you guys later have a great day.